Hello everyone, welcome to a little video explaining the radar controller function on the Storm of War server. We now have a radar controller which is simulated via text. I'm going to jump into the cockpit here just as the flak batteries are firing at an interloper. And I'm going to show you how the radar system is accessed. It is the same for all of the flyable modules. What you need to do is access your communications menu. And that is the menu that brings up this text in the top right hand corner of your screen. Key bindings will vary from player to player, but it is the communications menu. From that menu, select F10 Other. You can either use the mouse to click or your keyboard. And from there, one of the options will be Radar Controller. Currently on this mission for me, it is F1. It may vary, so I'm going to select F1 Radar Controller. Now you're in the Radar menu. There are two sub-options. One, Hostile Aircraft Information. And two, Friendly Aircraft Information. Friendly Aircraft Information will display up to five friendlies. Hostiles will only display up to two hostile aircraft. I'm going to select Hostiles. Top right hand corner now you can see we have a little pop-up menu. This little table that it spits out has information about the two hostile aircraft which it can currently see. The first column has the bearing. and The bearing is just in a cardinal point. The next column is the range. Now this is the approximation of the range to the target. It can either be near, medium, long or max range. I will explain what those ranges mean shortly. The next column is the altitude column. This is the altitude of the contact from low, medium, high and max and I will explain those as well. Then we have the contacts heading. This is the direction the contact is understood to be flying. And then in some cases, the type of contact may be known. At the moment, the hostiles are reporting as unknown type. Now we'll look at the friendly table. So I'm going back to my radar controller menu and I want friendly spit out. And here you can see the next table spits out five contacts. The first is a P-51, which is northeast of me. It is at medium range, medium altitude, and it is heading west. And then there's a series of B-17 contacts, which are all in the same location relative to me, and I think we can assume that that is a group. Let's look at some of the detail now in that table, and I'll explain what some of the values mean. The radar controller will give you a direction to the contact. This is the bearing response. And these are the basic cardinal points on the compass. Pretty self-explanatory. North, northeast, east, southeast, south, southwest, west, and northwest as you go around the compass. This is the bearing from your location. This is not the clock code, it is the bearing on the map from your current location. This means that if the response is N for north, that means the contact is north of you on the map. Let's take a look at the range category and there are five possible responses you can get back from the radar controller with respect to contact range. These are near, medium, long, max and unknown. The first of these, the near contacts, are those which are out to about five kilometers or three to three and a half miles away from you. This means that that contact can probably see you and that you can probably see him, assuming other visual factors are in your favor. These are the most critical contacts, obviously, because if they get a visual on you, then they can engage you. The next category is medium or med. And this represents contacts which are between about 5 and 15 kilometers from you. Such contacts are near enough to be a threat, but they probably can't see you, and they should not be considered to be merged contacts. The next category is long. These are contacts which are potentially about to become threats, but depending on their heading, they are probably well away from you. These are between 15 and 40 kilometers away. 
The final category is max. These are those contacts which are above 40 kilometers from you or about 30 to 35 miles. These contacts are well outside of engagement range and they really represent little to no threat to the player. If the range returns as unknown, that just means that the radar station itself is having some problems ranging that contact, either due to terrain or attenuation or some other factor. The radar controller can also give you altitude information, and this is the contact's altitude above sea level. The first category here is low, and this represents contacts which are from the deck up to 1,500 meters or 5,000 feet. Note, however, that very low contacts, depending on terrain, may be underneath radar coverage if they are operating right on the deck. Contacts which are reported as low could quickly drop down to the deck and disappear off radar. The next category is medium. These are contacts which are between 1,500 meters and 5,500 meters, or between 5,000 feet and about 18,000 feet. The next category above them are high contacts. These are between 5,500 meters and 9,000 meters, or between about 18,000 and 30,000 feet, and most of the twin and four engine bomber activity will occur in this height range. The last altitude set is max altitude. These are contacts which are operating above 9,000 meters or above 30,000 feet, right up to the service ceiling of the aircraft. Altitude may report back as unknown, and this is another case where the radar is unable to correctly or accurately fix the altitude of a contact. Similar to the bearing response is the heading response. This also takes the cardinal points, and this is the last known heading of the contact. That is the direction the contact itself is moving across the map. The final response you may get from the radar controller is the type of the contact. For enemy contacts, the most likely response is going to be unknown. However, for friendly contacts, you will often be given the type of aircraft that the radar is tracking. I hope that explains and demonstrates clearly the radar scripting that we now have on the Storm of War server. A big thanks to Steggles who originally produced this scripting for the modern aircraft in DCS. As usual everyone, happy hunting and I will see you up there.